you had been in the playoffs before. You actually played against us uh, yeah. as a rookie with the Brooklyn Nets. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it was your your body, your face. Was it your face, your head <laughs> yeah, that yeah. caught a, a caught a wayward Joel Embiid that started yes. a legitimate scuffle? With Jared Dudley, right? Jared Dudley, yeah, Jared <laughs> Dudley, my man. <laughs> when, you, when you're when you're a rookie stepping into your first playoff series and and you're going against Joel Embiid, how right. difficult is that? Oh man, it was just like to know every single night that you have to play Joel Embiid, and then after that game, go again. After that game, go again. <laughs> I, I just put my head down, just went to work. You know, the more you think about it, the more it's going to be on your mind and you're going to be like, oh, I got this horrible matchup for me. I felt like, well, I I felt like, you know, I want to say that was not the first time he had connected with you in that series. (laughs) Right. There was a little bit of like, uh, there was a little bit of like the, the, the bully. I feel like there was a little bit of the bully that he was trying on you. Did you feel that? I mean, I was scrawny. I was the scrawny kid coming into the league. I don't blame him whatsoever. <laughs> Did you have a favorite moment from those Nets teams? Because the fan base, I mean, the, I feel like the fans here still talk about them and, and, and right. you're sort of held in this regard that, you know, not many teams are. Honestly, my second year there, we just had this vibe about us where we were just going out and playing, having fun. I mean, there's this clip of us just shooting threes. Everybody's dancing on the sideline. We're having the time of our lives. Were we the best team? No, but oh, we were. We were enjoying ourselves and playing hard and winning. It's funny you brought up JB and the shift that he has had to make between a development coach and a coach that has to win now. In some ways, win. I know you guys have a long runway, but you're in a position to win now. And Kenny was in a similar position um, where when him and Sean Marks took that job over, it was like an impossible situation because of the lack of assets that had gone away. Um, The roster wasn't great as it was. And so they built this, this culture being there in the early stages of that with Kenny, what were some key takeaways for you in terms of the development of not only just the skill sets of the players, but developing a, a, a culture. Uh, just having everybody buy in, honestly. When you get teams like that where the future is iffy, you don't know where you're going to go. I mean, I feel like it's easy to just go your own way and hope to get traded or you know signed somewhere else in free agency. But I genuinely believe that like we were all bought into Kenny and his system and just trying to make things work with what we had. Uh, And it was easy for me, at least, to do it. It seemed like everybody was buying in, having fun, willing to get better for the team we had. To go from those sort of two years, and and again, this is not a sort of knock on DeAndre at all because he's a close friend, um, where you feel like you're growing and then they they come in and they sign DeAndre Mm -hmm. and, you know, he was starting for, for, I think, most of that year, if if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, for you, the, just the adjustment of being in that culture and then those free agents coming in, and all of a sudden there's a whole new set of expectations. Right. I mean, that was a big shift. We went from barely making the playoffs to now having two superstars, KD and Kyrie, on the team. And then DeAndre Jordan comes in uh, to take the starting spot. Uh, like you said, nothing bad for uh, DeAndre. I'm still, after every game, go up to hug him. Great guy. Uh, it was just a big shift for me. That's something I never had the experience before. Um, but I was able to make it through. That's, that's the best way I could put it. Were you, were you surprised that you were in the trade? I also just want to point out real quick. So you were in a three-team trade. Uh, Houston got some players and some picks. You got right. re- rerouted to uh, Cleveland. to Cleveland, correct? Were you surprised that you got traded? And also, how did you sort of approach that new opportunity going to Cleveland? No, because, I mean, Woj is the man that knows everything. So <laughs> <laughs> You were following the trade rumors? 
happening. And at the time, everybody's on Twitter. Everybody knows what's going to happen, you know? <laughs> so I just didn't know it was going to be the Cleveland. And I'm like, okay, I get to go home, back to Texas, back to Houston, you know, see the family. And then, you know, Sean calls me and he's like, uh, you're going to Cleveland. I'm like, oh, okay, why not? Cleveland of all places, but still making the best of Cleveland. Love it here. But I was able to make an identity. Uh, JB, not saying he handed me the keys, but he's like, go out there, have, have fun, play your type of basketball. Like, don't be restricted by trying to fit into our system. Just go out there and be yourself. Were there lessons from your rookie year, your sophomore year that you were able to to pass on to a guy like Evan? You know, we've talked a ton about how the sky is the limit for him potential wise. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just curious where you think his game is going to go, but then also just what you were able to sort of talk to him about as he's, you know, he's still only 22 as he's growing as a player and as a person. For me, it's just try to give him all the confidence that he can, can have, especially like, but he was a number four pick. Uh, being more on the raw side, you know, still having to be developed. People are going to eat that up. People are going to try to, you know, put out stuff. Oh, uh, he's not developing. Oh, uh, he's not going to be the superstar that we think he's going to be. But that's not going to happen overnight. I try to just tell him, like, just keep working after every bucket. It's a, it's a great shot. Um, just try to keep his confidence up. 